So we will continue with the reported speech. Today we will start with part five. But let us recapitulate what we have done till here. After an introduction of the reported speech, we had discussed how there is a change in the tense form when we convert a sentence in direct speech into reported speech. The models are also changed while transferring a sentence from a direct speech into indirect speech. There is a change in pronouns and time and place as well during the transformation. Now the next we are going to take up is, today we are going to take up is the change in reporting verbs. It is very, very important. We have already discussed while dealing with the other segments, right? Yet, it's very important that reporting verb is usually said. Very rarely it appears as says in the present form, but usually it is said the past form. Anyway, whatever the tense it is, but usually reporting verb is said. Then we have to change this reporting verb according to the nature of the sentence. We have to observe the sentence, whether the sentence is uh, a question, a statement, is it an exclamation, is it an order, is it a suggestion, is it simply asking, or is it simply giving a statement, telling something, etc., etc. According to that expression of the sentence, we have to choose an alternative. We have to choose another substitution verb for the reporting verb set. Right? So here is a small exercise uh, for you first. Right? Uh, here in the box, you see that the words have been given. All these are reporting verbs, right? You have to choose an appropriate word from the box and then we will change these into indirect speech or reported speech, fine? So before you pick a word from the box, please observe the speech, the quoted speech. Don't see the word said. Don't see the reporting verb first. What you have to uh, analyze is the quoted speech, the direct speech, the words within inverted commas. Just try to make out what type of sentence is this. Accordingly, if you are able to analyze this, this will help you to pick an appropriate word from the box. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So here is the sentence. He said, don't touch this high voltage wire. He warned. Good. He that, warned. Right. That don't touch this high voltage wire. Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, the way you have changed, that is not correct. Okay, we are not changing the sentences into indirect speech, but we are just learning how to change the reporting verb. Actually, when we change it into the indirect speech, I'll take up for later, right? It would be, he warned him or he warned not to touch that high voltage wire. This is one way, right? Another way is he warned that we should not touch that high voltage wire. Is that clear? Right? So the point here is set has been changed into warned because this is a warning. Don't touch this wire. Don't touch strange objects. Don't you get such notices time and again in the newspaper? Uh, at uh, road signs, even on railway stations, at all public places, 
you find these notices put up everywhere don't touch unidentified objects don't touch strange objects right so what is it it is a warning well well done okay smith said to lucy please help me to finish my project smith requested to lucy ah uh, yes that's right requested but again you are using requested in place of said to okay right so what what should it be smith requested lucy right smith requested lucy do remember when reporting verb said to is changed then we would not say requested to want to ask to directed to no right we are changing said to we are not changing said only all right so here it is smith requested lucy to help him to finish his project okay the man said go straight to the roundabout and then turn to right to reach the church the man directed right the man directed to go straight to the roundabout and then turn to right to reach the church the police commissioner said to uh, sorry here is a word missing okay the police commissioner said to sho submit the report about the farmers rally before 3 o'clock the police commissioner ordered to ordered cho sho right the police commissioner ordered sho to submit the report about the farmers rally before 3 o'clock right the librarian said to the students why did you tear the pages of the library books the lab, uh, the librarian asked the students right the librarian asked the students how did you identify this is this should be asked and because why is here why is here there is question mark in the end yes so that indicates it's a question okay father said to me where are you going father scolded me ah uh, yes it can be father scolded me or it should be father inquired inquired father inquired where i was going i think there was another word another sentence for scolded somehow it tells me it's missing here right but it should be actually father inquired where i was going it is clear yes ma'am okay yes so that was uh, there now look at this change of reporting verbs so by doing a few sentences you got to know how reporting verb is changed into another word according to the nature of the sentence right so what are these words we use what are these expressions we use for said we use told if it is a complaint we say complained right for example for example anmol said to the teacher neeta has stolen my book anmol complained teacher right. complained uh, anmol complained that neeta had stolen her book right similarly explained then suggested then advised apart from that anmol there are many others like suggested instructed commanded inquired uh, screened cautioned warned cautioned forbid lot too many words lot many words which according to the sentence we can easily make out right now here are a few examples you see these mhrd minister said the cbse board exams for class 12th will be cancelled mhrd ministry minister told said is also okay but if you really want to change this you can say mhrd minister told why because the sentence is simply an information 
right? You can also say MHRD minister informed. MHRD minister stated the CBSE board exams for class 12th would be cancelled, right? Now, the resident said to police officer, car theft is rampant in our locality. Now, this sentence expresses what? Complain. Complained. So the residents complained to the police officer. Yes, now here said to is changing to complained to, right? In certain cases, it happens. The residents complained to the police officer that car theft was rampant in their locality. The rest of the sentence is changed just as the other sentences are changed. The same way, okay? Yeah. Rohit said, I missed the unit test as I was unwell. Now Rohit is explaining, explaining what? He is explaining the reason why he missed the unit test. It can be Rohit explained, it can be Rohit clarified. It can be Rohit admitted that he had missed the unit test as he had been unwell, right? The doctor said, wash hands, wear masks, and stay in to stay safe. The doctors advise, this is an advice by the doctor. Take your medicine regularly, this is an advice. Go for daily walk. This is not an advice. This might be a suggestion. Taking medicine regularly is an advice because it's good, it's needed. But going for the daily walk can be optional. Not that necessary. So that would be a suggestion. The doctors advised to wash hands, wear masks and stay in to stay safe. Nita said to Gita, you should revise NCRT books thoroughly to get good marks. Nita suggested Gita. This is a suggestion. So Nita suggested Gita that she should revise NCRT books thoroughly to get good marks. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, here is a grammar test of reporting verbs. Uh, in this very context, I would like to tell you one thing more, which is very important. When we change reporting verb, then the sentence, that um, sentence in the direct speech that is changed into indirect speech. How we make the changes, how we make the changes, like we say he advised, he challenged, he asked, right? Sometimes in some cases, we use two plus non-finite. Just as for example, the doctor advised him to take the medicine regularly, right? Look at this example here. He decided to have the risotto. She promised to do the report by Friday. I will do the report by Friday for sure, she said. She promised, what? to do the report by Friday. Is that clear? Similarly, uh, yes. Please wait for me in reception. The guy told us to wait for her in reception. Similarly, there are some words when we change the reporting verb, then we use ing form of the verb. For example, I broke the window. She admitted breaking the window. Either it would be she admitted that she had broken the window. That is also correct. But if you want the sentence in more compact form, you can say she admitted breaking the window. I'm really sorry I did get back to you sooner. He apologized for not getting back to me sooner. It could be he was sorry that he hadn't got back to me sooner. It could be he apologized that he had not got back to me sooner. That is correct. But you can also use ing form of verbs as well. 
let's take a break. She suggested taking a break. Otherwise, usually what we, we people do, we say, she suggested that we should take a break. Let's just change into we should, right? But here it is, she suggested taking a break. That is also correct, fine? Yes, ma'am. Here must be grammar test one first, or oh, yes. Yes, here it is, fine? Okay. Why don't you come and visit us next week? She invited us. Yes, choose the correct option. She invited us to come. Right. And visit them next week. Right, correct. Okay. Yes. I did lock the door. He admitted not to lock the door. Just read it again. Uh, he admitted not locking the door. Correct. This is correct. When we say he admitted not to lock the door, that doesn't sound correct. He admitted that he hadn't locked the door. That could be right, but we don't have that option. Okay, the option here is locking and that is correct. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes, next. Don't close the window. I told him not Closing the window. Not close the window. I told him not to close the window. Don't touch the wire. I told him not to touch the wire. I told him not to touch, not to close the window. Don't, not to. Remember this. Okay. When don't, then whatever the reporting work, after that, it would be not to. So when you practice this, this is what actually you are learning. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Doesn't matter. After I finish, whenever you, you are free, you can revisit this video. You can revisit this link and do the practice and read the explanation again. Okay. Still, if there is any doubt, you can always ask me. I'm so sorry. I missed your birthday. For missed the birthday, my birthday missed. She apologized for Missing my birthday. Right. Missing my birthday. For missed. Missed is the third form of the verb. Past form of the verb. That doesn't go correct. Okay. She apologized for missing. Yes. I don't think it's a good idea to invite him. She advised us not to invite. Very good. That's right, not to invite. So you will see uh, now what it is? Not yes. and then non-finite to invite. Okay, yes. I'm definitely going to the meeting. I really need to be there. He insisted on going to the meeting. Very correct. Oh, you have been so prompt. Good, very good. Yes, please leave this area immediately. To leave the area. Right. Read read the sentence. The police the police instructed us to leave the area. Correct. Very correct. I won't do it again. He promised not 
to do it again. Ah, correct. Now you got it? So see your score here. Oh, eight out of 800%. Good. Clap for yourself. Right, you did. Good. So don't you feel happy when you are able to do it? I feel happy. Yeah, good. I also feel proud of you, right? <laughs> okay. Now there is another test. Yes. Or you will do it on your own? Ma'am, I do it on you your own. So shall, shall I take up the next? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. That's right. Because one we have done, now the other one, you will do it yourself, okay? Yes. So this is how we finish with the change in reporting verbs, right?